hitting that with the mistreated part, but that was pure bullshit. I'm just gonna state that for the record. Any CM Punk fan out there who has something to say to me because because I because I'm speaking the truth. If you have a problem with that, don't listen. Dislike the video and go somewhere else. I don't care. I don't care if you're a CM Punk fan or not. I, 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 this is my personal opinion. I think he just walked out of the company because he felt like he was bigger than the company. It, I feel like his ego was bigger than he felt like his he felt like his, his ego let him get the best of him, and he walked out of the company. And I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know what he's doing now. I think I think he, I think he was on the episode of Walking Dead. I don't know. They said something about being on the episode of Walking Dead. I don't, I don't know what the fuck dude is doing. I don't know what the fuck dude is doing now. He ain't been in no movies. He ain't been in no commercials. This dude, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, he's probably making royalty checks. He's probably getting royalty checks off his t-shirts. That's probably that's probably where he's getting all his money from. That's probably where he's getting his income from. He's probably getting royalty checks from his t-shirts. I'm pretty sure you get royalty checks for your t-shirts because technically that's... They're using your likeness and your character. And I, I think that's what's going on here. So I don't know what's going on with him, CM Punk. But anyways, though, you're you're gone. You walked out in the company. You walked down on fans like me who who actually enjoyed you as an entertainer. You know, you were the you were the man on the mic. I will admit that he had the best mic skills of all time. But you know what? If you're gonna you're gonna walk around the company because the company wants to go in a different direction with another person who they're trying to bring up. They're trying to build the future, and it can't be just. It can't just be. CM Punk and everybody else. It has to be. It has to be everybody and CM Punk. You you are part of the this roster. The you're you're not history. immortal to the roster. You're you're not stunner. that special. That's what I'm that trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, CM Punk, you're not special. Don't feel that way. I mean, guys like Daniel Bryan and all these other dudes, they're gonna come up. And what the fuck happened to that trash can? That trash can just disappeared. That trash can just disappeared. But once again, this is the two. This is the THQ version, not the 2K version. Okay, I gotta remember that. This is the THQ version. So yeah, I I, I don't even want to speak on CM Punk anymore. Now, I want to speak on this 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 group of young guys that are coming in, man. Maybe you know the the Shield and uh, what's the other kid's name? That one kid, the one creepy kid. One creepy kid who cussed those promos and shit like that. He cussed those. He cussed really good promos, but they don't add up to his story. They don't add up to what's going on with him in the ring for some odd reason. One kid was Bray Wyatt, something like that. Bray Wyatt. I re I never even noticed this until I saw like his debut on Raw, and then I saw the crowd cheering cheering his debut. I was like, holy shit, is that really Husky Harris? And it turned out it was Husky Harris. I'm like, wow. What the fuck happened, dude? I, I really did leave wrestling for some time. I'm like, wow. Husky Harris is a fucking... Is, is the fucking man now? He cuts promos like no other. Like, this dude had this talent all along? Like, what was the purpose of putting him in the Nexus? What was the purpose of putting him on? putting him on NXT. This dude had all the fucking tools to be great. <laughs> but I mean, that's the WWE, man. You gotta, that's the WWE. You gotta, you know, they probably know their talent better than that. That's the thing I hate about people, too. Everybody feels like the WWE doesn't know what they're doing. I think the WWE knows what they're doing. Like, why is this guy getting TV time? This guy sucks. He's boring. No, there's a reason why he's getting TV time because he has a talent that I think the WWE sees, but you don't, but you're not seeing. They know what their talent has to offer. You just have to give it time to develop. That's why I don't really complain on dudes when they first come in. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like that uh, the Russian dude that you know 
you know, disrespecting America and all that other bullshit. I don't know. I don't really care for that plot. That that storyline's been done. I don't know how many times in the WWE or wrestling in general. I don't know how many fucking times that Russian versus America plot has been used by the WWE, but it's getting ridiculous. But the dude himself, he was a fucking like I've never seen a big guy with fucking talent like that. Like this big, he's a big dude who has talent. I've never seen that before. I've never seen a big guy with that much talent. That shows you that, you know, everybody talks about in the NFL and the NBA how these, how these kids get more faster, more athletic, and more stronger and stuff like that. When back in the day, it was just like everybody was just strong and built. But nowadays, everybody, you know, like it's just crazy. It's really crazy. It's really crazy what's what's going on here, man. You got these big guys. These guys are athletic. You're doing all these crazy things in the ring, man. It's, it's crazy. But dude is a fucking beast, man. I mean, it, and I was looking back at it, and everybody didn't really like this guy. Everybody said this dude sucks. He's not really going to make it in this, in this industry. But really, it was just a storyline that I think you all hated more than the guy. Cause that's what I think. I don't really like the storyline they're going out with the Russia and American thing. Cause like I said, that shit has been done over so many times in the WWE. It's ridiculous. So the dude is fucking amazing. And then you got that dude is fucking amazing. Then you got the Bray Wyatt guy and, and Husky Harris. I I don't know where the fuck. Like he just he yeah he has talent man. And then you got the, the three guys in the shield fucking, what's the, what's the guns out? I know Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, no I forgot the other guy's name. The big guy, I forgot his name. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember it that well. So. I know it's Roman something, it's like Roman, it's Roman something, it's like, it's another R, I don't know what it is, is it Roman Roman or Roman Romeo or something like that, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know man, but anyways though, I don't those three guys are, are great. I like all three of them. Just, I don't know really. I don't, about the big guy though. I don't know about the big guy though. Because I've been reading. I've been going to the WWE. I've been going through some wrestling cheat. Um, some wrestling, you know, sites, you know, to see what the big deal is on these guys. And everybody's talking about the big guy. What's his name? Roman. It's Roman something. I keep forgetting his last name. I keep forgetting it. 